Thank you for joining me. Hi, my name is Karen and I'm the owner of Rustic River Home. I'm based in Brisbane, Australia and I sell furniture paints, IOD, decoupage paper and other craft supplies. Today I'm going to upcycle an old picture frame and I'm going to use some fusion mineral paint, a new IOD release mold and paint art products. I will list all the products I use in this project below. I'm going to start off by using Amazing Casting Resin to cast these molds and I'm measuring part A and part B in two separate containers and then I'm pouring it into a silicon cup to mix and pour. I've only measured enough for the first two molds and I will have to mix another batch for the second two. I'm using a popsicle stick to push uh, the resin into the small spaces and making sure the resin is in all the corners. I'm now doing the second mix for this next two molds. The resin is completely set and it's ready to be removed. I'm using Fusion Mineral Paint Cold Black to paint all of the castings, making sure I get into all the nooks and crannies because I don't want any white exposed. The paint is completely dry and I'm now going to go ahead and mix some Pentart Art Mica Powder with Pentart Pigment Fix. The Pigment Fix works well with all the pigment powders and it's very easy to use. I'm going to mix it into a paint line consistency. I'm just dipping the paintbrush and wiping off some of the paint on the paper towel and I'm just using very light pressure because I don't want to cover the entire casting but want to catch the high ends only so that the black still shows underneath.
all four castings are complete and I will set it aside to dry completely while I work on the background. I'm using Roy Cycle Treasures decoupage paper to cover the frame's backing board. To do that, I'm going to use Pentart's Ultra Matte Decoupage Glue. I'm just adding a layer of the glue, laying down the paper and smoothing it out with some scrunched up plastic wrap, working my way from one side to the other. I'm just painting a final layer of the decoupage glue on top to seal the paper and leave it to dry completely. I'm going to use some Fusion Skull Black to paint the inside and the outer frame. The decoupage paper is completely dry and I'm just going to use a sanding block to get rid of the excess paper hanging over the edge. I've already added some glue on the frame I painted earlier um, and it's ready to be stuck down onto the decoupaged pa uh, background. I'm now ready to get all my castings into position and glue it down with some Pentard's Glossy Heavy Body Gel. I'm using the Glossy because it dries clear and I don't have to worry if I get a bit of the gel onto the paper. But I am wiping away what I can. I'm just using a spatula to apply the gel. I want to add some um, molds to the frame, so I'm going to use the IOD Classic Elements mold and I'm going to go ahead and mix my resin and cast one for each corner and glue it down with a heavy body gel.
The frame, including the castings, are ready to be painted and I'm using Fusion's Cold Black again. I'm going to use some Pentart's White Antique Wax to cover the um, frame, so I'm just applying it with a brush and wiping away the excess with a paper towel. I'm not too sure if I like the look of the wax on the black paint, so I think I'm going to add some salt wash for a different effect. But before I do that, I will add some mica art powder mixed in bent out pigment fix to lightly brush over the corner castings. I mix some coal black with a salt wash and I'm going to use a paintbrush to stipple the mixture onto the frame. Um, I'm not particularly worried about covering the entire frame but rather just random places. I will also go ahead and do the inner frame the same with the salt wash mixture.
the salt wash paint is now dry and I'm going to apply some Pentart's wax paste in brass with a paintbrush. Again, just brushing the high ends with very light pressure. I like this look much better than the antique paste, for sure. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love this new release mold from IOD and I would love to see what you create with it. I hope you like this video. Please leave a comment or give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching.
don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow me for more DIY projects. Till next time.